This is one of the best videos I have come across in the recent times. Even though I'm no football fan and may watch time of the entire World Cup didn't cross 30 minutes, I wish I were there in person to soak in the incredible atmosphere. For the next FIFA final, I'm going to bet on one of the playing countries and be there in person. I will need your prayers so that my team wins and that I'll have the resources I need to travel. Now that I know Argentina is where I should have been for the winning celebrations, I would still pick France given its geographical advantages with Switzerland and Italy on one side, Germany and Netherlands on the other. All the wishful thinking aside, I'm not going to France anytime soon, but I did go to a place in India that was once a French colony and got to have a tiny taste of not the French fries, but the French frills. This is Arvind Ashram and I was here after returning from Auroville. But I can't take you inside because photography isn't allowed and I'm not complaining. The ashram was fully filled, but still, quietness was in abundance within its walls. Taking random walks in a quest to find moments that resonate with you and actually finding them leads you to immense joy. I loved this scene so much that I found a place to sit and posted it right away. And yes, one day I would probably make a frame out of it and have it on my photo shelf or a fancier name would be my gallery. Even the Pondicherry is known for its beaches, I was yet to go anywhere close to the shoreline. The streets, cafes, architecture and the people stood out for me. Talking of people, I didn't approach many people for their portraits or clips. Not that I was hesitant, but for some reason, I preferred being an observer without interrupting the passers-by for their pictures. And I never saw anything like this from this close. Did you? Another evening, but these parts remained filled with music. I did go up this time, and I enjoyed the music for a few minutes before walking out of the place. And I wondered if it was the same singer who I heard the previous night. After a bit of contemplation about where to go for dinner, I chose Coromandel Cafe. I loved its ambience and the whole vibe felt foreign and new. But the only problem was the taste of the food. Here are the remnants of the pesto chicken pizza I had and it tasted so tasteless. It wasn't too late at night, but everything was almost shut down and the streets were abandoned. But I was in good company. No, no, I was alone. I'm different to Sherlock, my camera. The day ended with this fresh lemon soda because I didn't want to go to sleep with the taste of tasteless pizza still on my taste buds. Huh. More than a year after I made the video about Mr. Ankegoda and his book collection, it has reached more people in the past few weeks. I'm glad more people are knowing him through this video. You might like it if you haven't watched it yet. You're welcome to visit this corner of the internet when you find time again. See you soon and take care.